Hey, what up Z-Clan and everybody else, how you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 4 build video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my uh, level 60 Necromancer that is focused on overpower damage using Blood Surge and the Blood Spear. Basically, this build is really good for uh, massive damage, or a single target damage, and defense, because this is my seasonal hardcore character. So... As always, let's play up to two minute clip of him fighting, showing you the mass damage, the single target damage, and the survivability. So, enjoy. Alright, so if you're still watching, I assume you are interested in the build. So let's begin with the Book of the Dead. So in the Book of the Dead, I got uh, Skeleton Warrior Defender Sacrifice to, to get that uh, non-physical resistance. Uh, then we've got Skeleton Mages Bone Mages Sacrificed to get that overpower damage. And we got the Iron Golem Sacrificed to get that increased critical strike damage. Now for my skills, we got the basic skill, and uh, we're using. I can't pronounce that, man. I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I mispronounce that. I cannot pronounce that. Damn, damn thing. I call it the blood arm. <laughs> With uh, one point in it, uh, we got an upgrade to get the blood orbs. Blood orbs is essential, and we need uh, it for 45. 45 is also essential because the overpower damage also benefits from your health and your 45. And obviously, why I really, really need those blood orbs is because I use them to uh, get essence. It's another thing. Well, obviously, there are uh, damage increase for four seconds after picking up a blood orb on a few of my items. So, really nice. And obviously, healing. And obviously, uh, <laughs> my first glyph is also a blood orb, which gives me 45 for seven percent of your maximum life right so here we go at the moment it's a low level because i only just 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 started doing those nightmare dungeons all right so for the core skills i am using blood surge for mass damage so killing all creatures around me the more the better so fully maxed out with an upgrade to healing right and essentially if an enemy is damaged by, by blood surge while uh, you have you're healthy so I need to make sure I'm always healthy I get one stack of overwhelming as soon as I get five stacks it overpowers and this is exactly why I went with bloodbath as my first uh, paragon board and I still need to get here because attacks that are guaranteed to overpower deal 50% increased power damage now for my single target I use the bloodlands right bloodlands deals a lot more damage to single targets with fully maxed out over here with an upgrade uh, pieces through the enemies and essentially after casting bloodlands six times your next uh, bloodlands is guaranteed to overpower and spawn a blood orb which I really really love those blood orbs 
And for the passives within the core skills over here, I have uh, your damage has up to 12% chance to create a corpse at the target location. So basically, I do need those corpses and this is one of my main uh, ways of how I can get corpses during boss fights. Because corpses also are crucial for my defense. And speaking of defense, uh, this is exactly the defense aspect that I'm talking about. You gain 0.40% increased armor for 4 seconds when you deal any form of damage stacking up to 24%. Which is amazing in combination with these unique gloves, uh, which make uh, the corpses to stand up as a skeleton and run to your target, right? Essentially blowing up and my upgrades for my... Uh, Corpse Explosion, which we're getting right now to the Corpse Explosion part, is uh, to create shadow damage. So it kind of like creates a pull for 6 seconds and it deals damage. And while the enemy is standing in that and uh, the skill is doing damage, my defensive aspect is in play. So I keep it maintained and it keeps growing or, you know, if... Maximum stacks it can get is 60 after the patch nerf. So this thing helps me to stay alive. And deal damage, man. <laughs> As you saw. So for corpses, essentially I got it all maxed out. I gave it a try. It actually does decent amount of damage compared to what I had before. I had only one point in it. This is my oh shit moment. <laughs> Gotta get out or I get frozen. I trigger that. So and I'm pretty much safe. Then I've got the Grim Harvest consuming uh, corpses generate 6 essence, also one of my core ways of getting essence, uh, and fueled by death to get a little bit of that uh, extra damage. I wanted to max this out, but uh, I couldn't find what else can I sacrifice to get this thing, but it is what it is. Um, maybe I'll drop two points from here and put them there, I'm not quite sure, but uh, for now this is how it is. Then uh, at the curse section, we got only passives. So we got the death embrance. Close enemies take 6% more damage. And uh, wait, close enemies take 6% more damage from you and you deal 9% and and they deal 9% less damage to you. So also kind of offense defense. And uh, distance reach, you deal 12% increased damage to distant. So both of those skills are actually distant. This thing, if it overpowers, it kills enemies even away from your screen. The enemies that you don't even see. This thing uh, pierces through and goes in. But, you know, I mean, everybody or by now should know how the distant damage works. Then uh, from corpses, I got... All of the upgrades for blood, apart from this one, I had to sacrifice, uh, but it is what it is. I mean, essentially, my build is always at healthy. I rarely get injured, so it is what it is. So more damage while you're healthy, uh, more damage, overpower damage while you're healthy, and fortification, uh, a lucky hit chance. So there we go. For my ultimate, I'm using the Bone Storm uh, with the... Re reduction so basically it really has, I trigger this bone stone before I run into a pack of elites and uh, my survivability is good then your critical strike chance is increased by 20% while bone storm is active another reason why you should use this thing when you see a whole huge pack of elites you just jump in there blood surge bam everything explodes overpower crit woo love it and obviously, the reason, another reason why I'm using, I'm trying to get the new uh, unique shield, which does even more candies. And for my key passive, I am using uh, Rathma's Vigor, increase your maximum life by 10%, and after being healthy for 12 seconds, your next blood skill overpowers. So if you take a look uh, at my level currently, you can see 60 right above, you see the icon over there, it's showing 12, that means any blood skill that I will use right now, it will overpower. Oh yeah, and obviously I forgot for the ultimate standalone and the Mentramori. <laughs> uh, sacrificing skeleton warrior and um, skeleton warriors and mages increase uh, their sacrifice bonus by 60%. Now this is how my paragon looks like. So I took both of these. Then for my first glyph, I decided to use the Blood Drinker. Grants 54% bonus to all magic nodes within range. And as soon as it gets 15, it will expand even more. And I will benefit from all of these goodies. So uh, that's why I decided to, instead of have, giving myself a little bit extra damage, uh, get the fortification. Because while I'm fortified, I deal even more damage. Uh, thanks to the, uh, what is this one called? 
uh, bloodbath. So bloodbath increase my uh, damage while fortify. So and uh, damage while healthy and overpower damage. So this is what it is. At the moment, there's really nothing to talk about because here I'm level 60 only, and I still need more paragon points. All right, let's start off with the hearts, the season one uh, kind of like features, right? So I got all three hearts. So for the uh, necklace, I'm using the Worthful heart. So cycle through the uh, Malignant bonuses every 20 kills. So I get neither 23% attack speed, neither core and basic skills have 18% chance to fully restore my primary resource or brutal every 18 seconds gain barrier absorbing uh, damage, right? Uh, previously, I had the auto corpse explosion heart but I've replaced it with this one because I need to get used to it, uh, used to playing without the auto course exp explosion because uh, for this one I'm planning to put uh, another heart which increases the damage. So I need to kind of get used to blowing up my own corpses and not having them automatically. <laughs> I just have to point that out. So for the ring over here, I got Vicious Heart, gains 65% critical strike damage, but uh, your non-critical strikes deal 22% less damage. This is the lowest one uh, that I have. I have uh, like hearts that can give me 64 and 63, but I'm keeping those for the essential. So, and it, it's really good. I love it. And another one also uh, vicious. So every five seconds, while above 60% life, core skill costs 242 life instead of your primary resource. Skills that consume life deal 25% extra damage. This thing is just. I love it because now I can spam even more blood surges. Blood surge heals me. I have a whole bunch of other healing uh, components, such as my weapon, that also heals me when I. Uh, like basically I'm good man <laughs> I'm good with healing my defense is high so I can use this thing without being afraid of being killed <laughs> so these are the hearts that I'm using all right so for my helmet this is my helmet you heal for 41 uh, life per second for each uh, close enemy up to that's the thing i am looking for some unique pants which will give me my barrier if i overheal and plus i got this thing that i'm going to be using soon i haven't had the chance to implement it i'm thinking what should i replace it with but each percent of your maximum uh health be over 100 grants you overpower damage so it kind of stack 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 and then you release and just it's crazy i already tested it actually really really freaking works but right now i'm going to show you uh what I'm working with right now and what you saw in the fight video of doing AOE. I'm still working on this, so expect an upgrade. Alright, so then uh, my my armor consuming corpse has a 28% chance to spawn a blood orb. Really need those blood orbs, man. For healing, defense, damage, so blood, blood orbs, I love you. Uh, my favorite gloves. <laughs> Unique gloves. Uh, which makes the corpses to stand up as a skeleton and run into your enemies uh, really helps during boss fights So basically sometimes you have your corpses away from from the boss you trigger them over there But they don't do anything because the boss is in a totally different direction But if you use this that those corpses will stand up and run into the boss dealing damage and essentially I already spoke about this one uh, for sh Shoes, I haven't yet decided what I'm gonna use but <laughs> this thing is useless to be honest right now uh, same here and here. Oh, by the way, I just noticed. <laughs> Bro, I can put that ring now and become even more OP. But since I'm going to be using also a unique one-hander, so I'm still thinking which aspects I can sacrifice. So as you can see, I wasn't even benefiting from my weapon aspects. And the build is already just dominating things. Actually, I'm going to put that thing right now uh, after this video. Uh, so basic skill grants you 20% uh, damage reduction for 4.5 seconds. Also useful for survivability. Most probably I'll be sacrificing it really soon. As soon as I get my uh, unique shield, my unique uh, uh, two one-handed weapon. And uh, what, are there any other uniques I'm looking for? No, I don't think so. So uh, 
Over here we got the Blood Surge Nova Echoes after a short delay, making 60% less damage. Also helps, so for example, if you trigger the Nova, the Nova uh, overpowers, it makes the Echo and that Echo also overpowers. So, dealing a little bit less damage, but with the overpower, deals a good amount of damage. Uh, I already spoke about this one, Blood Orbs Essence Regeneration, the lowest one, because I got it from the dungeon. I still need to find a few really nice perks and uh, for my necklace I've got basic skills gain attack speed so uh, since my main attack speed uh, regenerate essence and spawn spawns more blood orbs I need to go strike it as fast as I can but most probably I am going to be doing something else over here so do have that in mind uh, well in future builds but at the moment this is what it is this is the build that helped me to push uh, tier 20 uh, nightmare dungeons on world tier 3 yeah I tried to go up myself but the final boss is still dealing <laughs> a decent amount of damage so I think I'll wait until I hit 65 before I proceed to world tier 4 so it is what it is thanks all for watching I hope you found this video useful and if you did you know the drill don't forget to smash that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so do have that in mind and I'll see you on the next video bye